Meet Gromit, the bus that is. Specially designed in honour of Preston's Nick Park, it is set to go into service across the city from this week. And who better to launch it than the voice of Wallace himself, Peter Salas. The Evening Post caught up with him. I think it's, it's a great idea and it's a, it's a lovely bit of sort of work, really. No, I mean, he'll love it, yes. Mm. Yeah. How does it feel being part of uh, Wallace and Gromit? Well, it's, it's, you know, it is great. And in, in fact, you know, it's something that you, when you're at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, you don't think you're going to do something like this when you get out. Filming Wallace and Gromit, I mean, what, what was your favourite favorite moment? Oh, my favourite moment was when, in, the, in um, the wrong trousers it is, when they're chasing the, uh, the penguin, the wicked penguin, through the house, through uh, Wallace's house, and uh, Gromit is lying on the front of the train, laying the track as the train goes along. When I saw this completed film, while we were dubbing it and doing some voices and that sort of thing, I said to Nick, Nick, and he said, what is it? I said, this isn't going to work, Nick. This is, you can't do this. It can't, who can't. He said, trust me, Peter. And when it came to the preview at the Odeon Leicester Square, when it got to this bit, the whole audience erupted. They were all standing on their feet, waving their programs and everything. And Nick leaned over. We were both sitting in the same aisle. And he leaned over and waved at me, and I waved back. Trust me, Peter. What's your favourite line as Wallace from, from the films? Oh, I don't know. It's got to be, what, no cheese grommet, hasn't it? I mean, I'm always being asked to say it. So, so I guess it's my, yeah, what, no cheese grommet? Hmm, yes, I think so. I'm surprised to learn you're actually from Yorkshire, from, uh, from London, aren't you? So I'm from London, how, yeah. How, how easy is it to get into character? <laughs> oh, it's a dog. I mean, I don't think about it. Uh, the point is, of course, that I don't do a true Yorkshire accent. I do a sort of North London Yorkshire accent. But, as I've pointed out to other people in the past, if I did a genuine Yorkshire accent, nobody would know what I was talking about. So, part of the new film coming out in, in December? Is that when it's coming out? Apparently so, yes. Well, that sounds like how, it. How just, it just before Christmas, I would think, yes. Hmm. How was it filming that, doing the, the voiceover for that? Well, so, like all the others. in for a cracker, another cracker? Yes, I, well, because he's got a love interest now. He's got a lady. Sally Lindsay is the actress who's doing the part. And um, there's a love-hate relationship between him and her, so to speak. Uh, I'd better, better not tell you too much about it. So how many more films do you think there will be? Is Wallace and Gromit going to go on forever? Well, it won't go on forever with me, that's for sure. But uh, I don't see why it shouldn't go on. I mean, yeah. Why do you think people love it? I don't know. I think if I knew that, I wouldn't be an actor. I'd be doing something else. You, you can't, you can't really analyse these things. I think it. Well, I can help a lot by just saying, it is the actual characters themselves, Wallace and Gromit. I mean, what a marvellous name, Gromit. I mean, you know, that in itself gets you off to a good start. What is, uh, it, what is it about Nick Park which makes, makes it work? He's diligent, he's not conceited, and he won't let anything go until he's absolutely happy about it. In other words, he's a real filmmaker, except that he's working with plasticine, and uh, instead of human beings. Do you think Wallace is probably your, your greatest achievement or last of the summer wine? I mean, what, what do you think people remember? Oh, well, I think uh, I'd like to think it was last of the summer wine for the simple reason that you see all of me in that, whereas the other, of course, is just the voice.